Welcome back, everyone. Hey, how's it going? It's springtime and we're on a freeway. Yep. Uh, did you know that if I hadn't reloaded my shotgun, if I had spare ammo in, in winter, I would come to spring with the same amount of ammo? Which means he wouldn't have touched it. He would have been like, he would have just remembered now to reload his shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that he, after the dramatic scene of watching Ellie, like, uh, chop the living daylights out of that guy, he, he was like, oh, I, I can't touch a gun anymore. And he's just <laughs> now getting back into actually wanting to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> he took a vow of peace. But only like a, a few months of I a vow of peace. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, Ali, I vow that I will not kill another person. <sighs> and she's like, <laughs> oh, really? Okay, okay. At least for the next few, a few months. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a couple months. But after that, I mean, come on. <laughs> it's like a cleanse diet, you know? <laughs> you only do it for a little bit. I'm gonna cleanse on mortal. <laughs> <laughs> I cleanse on murder. I feel so much better now. It's like the a opposite of po the poor. Another, <laughs> Another abandoned quarantine zone. Oh, this is like where they started. Yeah. It's yeah. not actually the place they started, but it's a, a place like that. Similar, yeah. They abandoned <laughs> the quarantine zones after. They run out of food, I think it is. Yeah, well, they, they've they basically created uh, city-states, uh, because it Maybe looks like the here, Ohio right? government has kind of collapsed a little bit. So yeah. I think the quarantine zones are functioning on their own, and so, like, once you start functioning on your own, if you don't have somebody that's that's small in charge and trying to make you self-sufficient, yeah. you're going to end up in a situation where you're just going to run out of supplies and... People are going to have to leave. They're going to have to find somewhere else to live. Yeah, I've been hearing a, a lot about how, uh, about hierarchies from a guy called uh, Jordan Peterson. He was talking about how we evolved from essentially monkeys, not quite monkeys, like Neanderthals and yeah, and part humans, I guess you might be able to well, call we could them. use that ladder. And uh, he was saying it's not just the, the people in charge are not the people that go. are the most aggressive. In those societies, it's the people that can master the most the most of Ellie. of certain traits, like being compassionate, being being reciprocal is another thing that, that helps in the Ellie. animal kingdom, along Ellie. with being able to protect your own and be aggressive. Okay. And that and that sort of works in society too, because all all societies that have a violent, aggressive ruler, they always collapse over time. <clears throat> yeah, that's. You, uh, we've talked about that uh, before with like dictatorships and stuff. Like, yeah, dictatorships. Uh, usually, the 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 dictator is somebody who's like you said is is violent, aggressive, and and selfish, and that creates a society that is unstable. Yeah, because I mean, if 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 you're a violent, aggressive ruler, then the only thing. What is it? I like that. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt. Uh, Ellie. I like that little moment of like they used oh. established <laughs> game mechanics of like you're used to just going to an edge and having whole uh, come by and like climb up uh, your shoulders. You know that's yeah. something that's just like, been established that that's something you do. Yeah. And they use that moment to show the characters like disdain or like disconnect. What is it? For, yeah, yeah. For the uh, the war. That that's a. What was a nice little touch. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I noticed that too before. It was, it was, it's kind of interesting because that's something you would do in the game. It's just like uh, just a boring thing you do. You just put the ladder up and and she's and she you expect her to just do what what, yeah, like yeah. basically what you were saying. Yeah. I just I. <clears throat> it's uh, it's not something you can do a lot. Yeah. But if you can try and tie, the mechanics into the emotions. Or the character's like state of being, yeah. I think that's important. I'm not one for um, the idea of mechanics and story Mother, being completely disconnect, uh, disconnected from each other. Oh wow! Is it actually moving and stuff? Like, it, yeah. could you have watched it? Yeah, that was, it's a giraffe. Oh wow! Yeah. It's not just. It's actually like trying to. I guess uh, uh, like exist. I don't know. <laughs> Come here. Now these are the parts of the game that I, that I like, you know, like, right. to like where something is, something cool is happening, something interesting about the world. 
I feel like the game always has from too much filler, though. Yeah. It, they they needed to meet the quota of you need to have enough gameplay in between, so that's a game. Here, come on. Let's but go. moments like this are Slow like down, kiddo. <laughs> what's the more enjoyable part of the game? It's yeah. the pacing. I've said that before. The pacing of this game seems wrong. Yeah. I guess uh, uh, what I would say is that the uh, it's got a very oppressive environment. This game. So when something like that happens, it's like, okay, so there's a high to the low. Yeah. You know, now it's just like, I don't feel like shit every, like the entire game. You know? <clears throat> That's pretty pretty. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a different environment, because it's, it's spring, so... Um, I was about to say, there's grass growing everywhere, <laughs> but that's not quite what happens in spring. So, yeah, it's exaggerated it's reality. I just realized it's ups and downs. the difference, the uh, changing of the seasons is supposed to be matching the the, the flow of the story. Though. Yeah, yeah. Because winter time was the uh, the low point of of uh, the story for yeah for uh, Ellie at least. That was the the like everything is destroyed moment, and spring yeah. they're they're showing her like seeing the beauty in the world or whatever you want to say. And summer was just. Same old, same old, I guess. <laughs> yeah, some boys. Oh, no, no, that that makes sense. Some boys is, is like the. It's the normal. Uh, it. Normal. It's establishing the ward. It's you know the, that, right? uh, and then you move into the the uh, the winter of the, <sighs> the everything's collapsing. Go back to Tommy's. And then this is supposed to be bringing you back. You're done up. with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. Can't be for nothing. She's acted a lot different. Yeah, it has been a while though. Yeah, they kind of cheat by having the big jump in time. They don't have to show the uh, casual. Um, uh, sorry, not casual. They don't have well, to show the progression of character. Yeah. They can immediately just jump to this is how There's she is no now. And you you feel the difference. We'll go wherever you want. It's kind of... Okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Like, just skipping. Well, I ain't without you. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, depending on how it serves the story, I guess. Yeah, it's not necessarily a bad choice. It, it's just... Uh, like, uh, there's some things we didn't need to see, I guess. Yeah. It, it comes down to what the point of the, the story is supposed to be. Yeah. Like, what... It, it, if the point was supposed to be uh, watching the character change from a happy-go-lucky well, as happy as you can be in this world, uh, kid to a a nihilistic person like Joel, then yeah, we should have saw uh, seen that whole time. But that's not. I don't think that's the point of the story. Yeah. So many options. Oh, never mind. Well, this place. <laughs> How so? Does it not actually that you go that down. direction? I ended up uh, in what? a tree. Uh, you were saying so many options. <laughs> and then I saw the bar Oh. <laughs> nope, not happening. <laughs> saw families torn apart. Whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Is that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it was. I can't he seems imagine losing someone you love like that. A little bit different, too. Like he's. Losing everything that you know. Uh, his sorry, interaction man. with her is. More it's open okay, and softer. Yeah. Wonder how that was. Uh, how that was for the actors. Like, maybe that's that's something that actors are used to doing. But telling them like, here, you're in a completely different state of mind now. <laughs> yeah, I can see that being. Uh, well, that's that's probably what they train to do. So it's not. Yeah, I guess that's really just kind of the job, especially because in. And like movies, they don't film stuff chronologically, so you may be filming a, a scene at the end of the movie, and then filming a scene at the very beginning of the movie the next day, you know, you need to be able to just like, yeah. put yourself in a different state of mind, but the same character. I so guess that would fall on the director. They would have to tell them specifically how they're supposed to be feeling in different situations. Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> that, that, that would be a thing that would 
that the uh, director should be like taking control of, you know. Yeah. And then it'd be, and then I guess it would also be their acting ability. It's sort of, I don't know, it's a combination of all those things. Well, that's movies all a um, man. Look at me, a lot of supplies. Yeah, that's because I'm over here and I can build something. Oh, okay. Movies really are not one person's vision. They all a cooperative medium. It takes so many people to do it that you need to to be able to work with all those people. Let's do this. So this guy that you've been listening to, uh, I'm assuming he's like a YouTuber, right? Well, he's um, he's sort of a YouTuber slash like now political personality. He's oh. sort of a he's sort of on the, like he's in the centrist basically. He, okay. he tries to look at the evidence and then you know that sort of person. <clears throat> so he's more talking about political stuff, not as much about like the just the fundamental structures of society and stuff. Well, he's a he's a clinical psychologist, and everybody makes his work political, basically. Oh. So he talks, and then he's like, okay, well, I guess I'm involved in politics now. And uh, so uh, he sort of... That's hard to... Uh, that must be hard for him a little bit, because he probably w wasn't intending on getting into that. Yeah. It's sort of like... like like he's been a psychologist all his life and then you got all these people who, are, who he's like he's just telling them things that that are general psychological knowledges you know like like there are differences between yeah, this is good between uh, different genders you know and di different societies different cultures and all that stuff and then people frame it as like oh so you must you must hate women then <laughs> unfortunately that's then, <laughs> a very common thing nowadays is like I think it's a simplification problem. I think people, hey, Joel, I for got some people, for you. Uh, what, what do you got? Here. Hey, she. Maria showed this to me, and I, uh, I stole oh, it. Oh, she took the picture. I, hope you don't I remember mind. now. Yeah, it's a picture of her and her, or him and his kid. <clears throat> oh, the other, the the woman that you started the game with had oh, that. Oh, huh? yeah, the little girl. The. Uh, Nope. No, 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 not the kid. Like, where did uh, she get the picture from? What's uh, his, my brother? That's what oh, I'm okay, your brother gave it to you. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was uh, the the one woman that uh, Joel was no driving around with try. before. I thought maybe she had it and she gave it to Ellie. I guess you can't escape your past. But I I didn't remember who it was. I think she stole it. Thank you. Because uh, she stole a lot of a lot of things in this in this uh, game. Yeah. Use tunnel medical. That's funny. All the signs are like painted over with, with uh, more appropriate things for this time when it's this was taken be over. Okay. Not those it's tunnels. Uh, not those signs, mean? but the ones we're behind you were like. The uh, if you need medical supplies, use tunnel or something. You see the sign of the evacuation. Like, use tunnel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can see they like spray painted over one of those. Um, the papers. like stencil sort of things. Yeah, so it says. It's a really calm <clears throat> environment. Yeah. I almost like more. these parts of the game better than the the shooting parts. Yeah, I do too. I just like exploring this. But I've always <coughs> enjoyed the feeling of just walking around a place I don't know and getting to know that place. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's one of the big guys. What is it? The big one. One yeah. of the big, like, um, infected people? Yeah, the ones that have been infected for 20 years or something like that. Oh. oh yeah. Arrows now. So... Is the fuck supposed to keep these guys alive? Oh, what? do they actually eat? I mean, if they've been infected that long, they have to be eating something. Um, I don't know. I guess, I guess uh, the fungus might keep them alive. Maybe. I have no idea. They never go into that in this game about what they eat. Yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter. That's the, they're zombies. They're zombies. <laughs> Maybe they do eat people. Um, I've never <laughs> seen it. You 
just gonna try and avoid the fight. Yeah, they got a big one and they got a clicker. I guess there's really no reason to, to do it if they're not blocking your path. Yeah. And you can save all that ammo. Man, you have a lot of flamethrower ammo. I'm assuming that stuff doesn't go, it doesn't uh, last very oh, long. Oh yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's about half a tank. <laughs> So many of them. Oh, this is just supplies. Makes me know it's the games when they give you that many supplies. <laughs> you're right, yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> They're like, you're gonna need it. I mean, don't ask me why, but. <laughs> As soon as you make noise here, they're going to come rushing in behind you, though. Yeah. Now you see, this is this is good because I just had a bunch of like a bunch of tender moments, you know. Everything's great. Yeah. And then and then it's like, okay, we're gonna put you down in the sewers now. Yeah, it and exaggerates it, this tension. Yeah, it's a, there's a there's a high and then there's a low, so you actually feel it. It's a, okay. The the arrows are gonna help you here. That's a good idea. I would not have thought of that. Uh, it's a roller coaster idea. You have to have the highs to make the, the lows. Uh, well, you have to have the lows to make the highs more exaggerated. Oh, Ooh, well, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. That actually might not be bad. Yeah. Because you might be able to just go past him now, right? Do you need to get out that door to your left, or is it? Do you need to get through the hole? Jeez. Oh, this guy's coming back. You may have to go loud in a moment. They only walk off the of sound, right? So, like, as long as you're quiet, you're fine. No, those ones can see me. Oh. Ooh. Did that kill him? Yeah. Okay. Look at shot, Joe. You didn't have much time to actually set that shot up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this is... This feels more tense uh, yeah. to me. That's something I think the problem uh, this game has a problem with in, in the earlier chapters. There's not really tender moments. It's just everything's everything is oppressive. Yeah. So it's like when another when you get attacked again by another thing, it's like oh, okay, it's, <laughs> that's that's kind of cool, I guess. It's hard. Like they want they cannot have the tender moments with Joel because they need him to be this this like broody person. It's almost like they needed more moments where they show Ellie, like, outside of the view of, of Joel doing stupid things. Like she was doing with the, uh, the toy that she stole, right? Yeah, yeah. That, like, that moment is a, is a cool moment, but it doesn't last long enough yeah. to really exaggerate the other moments. <clears throat> like, if I'm thinking about, like, like, winter, the entire season of winter, it's like, okay, I'm hunting deer. Um, I guess that's kind of a tender moment. It's not really though. It's just no. It's more just like a. It's a calm moment, so it makes yeah. like. Cause, tense, uh, tense with. Uh, like oh. moments of tenderness or relief. Those are good comparisons to each other. But the hunting was more a calm moment, which uh, makes uh, exciting moments more exciting. But the, honestly, the combat in this game. Isn't as much excitement. It's all tense. Yeah. So like, I don't think the combo moments work to offset the the combat at all. I would agree. Yeah. Would have been interesting if they could have developed the uh, the combat, like the the combat with the humans, a little bit more floaty and uh, more about like moving around uh, a lot. Yeah. And then that way they could have the calm moments offset the moments with the uh, the combat with the humans. And then they could have the tendril moments or the like wowing moments offset the combat with the clickers. And kind of flow back and forth between these four uh, moods. I agree. The game would be a lot, I think the game would be a lot better if it did that. But that's the kind of thing that's a really hard thing to see until you see the bigger picture. Like, it's easy for us to say that now that we've oh, yeah. played a lot of the games, but during development, imagine, like, if you didn't have that idea going into development, you couldn't have set it up. 
Do you think you can get all of them with one grenade? No, these big guys are gonna be a problem. Wait, I don't see. think you have anybody behind you, so I think that you already have to deal with them. Those are proximity grenades, right? Yeah. Okay, so you you can set up like a trap for him. Oh, are they floating in the water? Okay, I thought they were floating in the water. <laughs> and like they back away. Yeah. That would be kind of a cool trap, actually, like a survival <laughs> or like a survival game, like a grenade that has floaties on it that you can put in water to float towards enemies and stuff. <laughs> That'd be cool. That would be cool. I'd try that. There's something I think like the that. Flames would be a good initiator, man. <clears throat> you could get like more than one of them with the the Molotov. Yeah, but I for sure with a headshot would kill this. Okay, this so clicker. you don't think you can guarantee a kill? Yeah, you're probably be uh, right then. And <clears throat> flames, uh, I mean, uh, Molotovs are very effective against these guys. So I want I want to save it for them. Okay. Do you think if you shoot this and you run? You, you might be able to have them not notice you. Gosh, dang it, right? You gotta lead a little bit, don't you? Yeah. Just want him to stop moving for a second. <laughs> well, you got the. Oh, it's a big uh, one. No mind. There's two. Is that two big ones? Yeah, two big ones. Oh wow. It's the first okay. time you ever see two big ones, so. It's sort of like preparing for a big daddy, you know. Yeah. If you have the chance to not immediately fight them and try to set up. Oh, oh. oh my god. Yeah, the way they are, move. They're so movie. <laughs> yeah, they're so movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you got oh, shit. He's going around the other way. Oh, that's Ellie. <laughs> I thought that was. Oh. Oh, did he set it off? Yeah. I got the, the dummies doing it. Alright, well. You're gonna have to quell him, I think. Thank you, no. So you, you should be able to get him. Oh, you have to get him. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, you're gonna have to set up for the Molotov pretty soon. Oh. Nice that now he's helping out. Oh, that, no, no, the stairs there. Yep. And down the hallway. That'll quail to the hallway at least. Okay. And Ellie will probably distract him a little bit. Oh, oh! I just uh, remember what, now this hallway has all the guys that we left. <laughs> You're just walking into more people, Joey. Got your Molotov ready to go. Yeah. Those big guys are still in there somewhere. Uh, sh yeah. No. But they're all still in here. Yeah. Let's see if you uh, if they like reset. I don't know if the AI does that in this game. Okay, yeah, I think they'll back out there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they see me. God. Okay, so you won't be able to sneak past them, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh. That just constantly dots you, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it seems like they don't want to follow you into the hallways. Oh no, there they are. Okay, you got at least one of them. See why they uh, gave you a lot of ammo. Yeah. Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> Get out of my way! I guess it sounds like a dinosaur is kind of a misnomer considering. Oh, my oh, what the heck? Oh, okay. Get me out of here. Oh, that's it. 
Cosmic out here. Oh, shoot. If you don't know, help him, that's a big old Yeah. It's a rough setup situation, because they, they make it so it's you want to sneak past, but then if you get uh, over you can get pushed back into the guys that you stuck past. Yeah. It's cool. What? <laughs> that should have killed you. Oh, it didn't kill it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I guess they're uh, strong against that. Jeez. Oh, I think you still have a med kit if you get really beat up. Is using a flamethrower against the big guys a bad idea? Cause no, it's a really good idea. Oh, okay. So just any kind of fly is myself a way out here. These guys are they're one hit kills too. Did you manage to kill the other one? Okay, so the file isn't as much about like damaging them as it is uh like CC them. Yeah. There's this many, I think so. stuff way more. <laughs> <laughs> I might have killed the other one. I don't think so. No, I think you're going to have to hit. But uh, I think you're going to have to deal with him in the next episode. <laughs> yep. So. That was a good fight, George. That was a pretty good fight. I, that was like feeling the tensity in that one. All right. Well, All right. See you guys the next see time. See you later. Subscribe to see more videos. A special thank you to Sky Snork and David Forel for their support. And if you too would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon.